But a lot of people, but I see, they just put in out sales. It looks and smells like a sales gimmick, but that's not usually what you're talking about, right? So it's not pushing sales, but it's creative marketing of sales, correct? Can, can mm -hmm. you explain that kind of? Yeah, absolutely. So what you want to do when you are promoting, even if it's a sales post, you don't want to say buy, buy, buy all the time. You don't want that at all. In fact, the algorithms are going to punish you hard for that. Um, because again, social media is all about engaging and connecting and being more relational. And when you're constantly asking people to buy all the time, that's a problem. So what I always like to share is you have to create posts that actually give like a helpful insight or a benefit to a particular product. So I always use the example of, let's just say you're a shoe salesman or something and you have new shoes coming in. Well, you have the post of, hey, I have new shoes coming in. If you wanna buy them, here's the link. Boom, that's a post. But what I love to have people do is I love to have them do like a Facebook Live and show how they're unboxing the shoes and show what, you know, just show the component of getting them excited. You know, you don't even have to sell, just talk about the, you know, these new shoes came in, we're super excited. Okay, so that's a live video. The next one could be maybe you have an accessory, maybe you have an outfit that would go great with those shoes or something. And you just talk about how you can pair these shoes with work attire or do something like that. And then the next post that you could do, then you can be like, hey, if you want to buy these, you can go ahead and buy them here, come into my store. So you're just basically like taking one little product or a service and you're dissecting it into little bite-sized benefit pieces.